today's video, we're going to look at an OTP, one-time password bypass. Friends, with the help of Burp Suite, we'll show a lab demo on a vulnerable site where a Gmail OTP and a mobile number OTP can be bypassed, and we'll break down what the real vulnerability is. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe so you can catch more ethical hacking vids and cybersecurity info. First up, open Burp Suite. Burp Suite is a proxy tool that captures requests and responses between our browser and the server. It helps us intercept and inspect traffic so we can understand how the app actually works. I've got a separate vid that shows how to download and configure Burp Suite with your browser. Watch that first, then come back to this OTP demo. Next, I open Firefox and go to the vulnerable or targeted website. I sign up and request an email OTP. The site says it sent the OTP to the email we gave it. For the demo, I use a sample OTP like 1111 just to show the flow. Okay. To verify the OTP, we're going to bypass it. First, open Burp Suite, go to the proxy tab, and turn intercept on. Now click verify OTP. Now you can see Burp Suite has captured all the traffic coming from our browser. Until we forward the request, it won't go to the server. Right-click this request and choose Do Intercept and Respond for this request. Forward all the other requests. Here we got a response back from the server, and it's saying the OTP we entered 1111 is wrong. See this. It says D colon 2, which means the OTP is wrong. That's the server's response from the website's back end, and this is what we're going to edit. We'll change that 2 to a 1. As soon as we edit it to 1 and forward the request, check it out it shows OTP is verified. That means our OTP bypass worked. Now forward all the remaining requests. Next, we'll bypass the mobile number OTP the same way. First, enter the phone number, then submit any random OTP. For that request, enable intercept. Do intercept on the request. Edit the server response the same way and forward it. Just like that, you can bypass the mobile OTP too. All right, friends, that was a beginner level OTP bypass. In upcoming videos, we'll ethically demonstrate attacks like an OTP brute force attack and a password brute force attack. Now let's walk through the vulnerabilities that were present on this website. API response manipulation is possible. The server returns simple response flags like D colon one and D colon two without extra integrity checks. If responses aren't cryptographically protected, they can be tampered with or spoofed. How to fix this? Use signed responses or cryptographic integrity checks so responses can't be altered in transit. Second vulnerability is OTP storage is insecure. If OTPs are stored in an easily reversible format, an attacker could guess or brute force them. Fixes, store OTPS hashed or encrypted, don't keep them in plain text. Next is no response integrity or token validation. The server isn't using HMC signatures or token-based validation for critical responses, so fake responses could be accepted in an insecure setup. And the last vulnerability is no rate limiting. There's no limit on how many OTP attempts a user can try, so brute force testing becomes feasible. If you want to see more ethical hacking and cybersecurity content, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.